Now we got the mailman trucks involved. You see the mailman truck all the way down there? That's the mailman truck. This is part of the gang stalking crews, the mailman trucks. You see the mailman trucks? All of a sudden, when I mention his name, he just pull off up, he just pull out a park from the corner and then pull up to this house over here. This is how that shit goes down. And now those individuals, you already know, uh, cahoots and then collusion. But they got motherfuckers in one of these motherfucking cars. I know. I was, yeah, I was just talking about that. I just, just seen the, um, it was just a truck at the and corner. some of the cars got remote start. Yeah, but this wasn't even oh, yeah. a truck. Turn this time, it was the, uh, the it was like one of those state registered so trucks, man. You know, a picture's worth a thousand words. I just showed them what it is. Community proxy stuff. Yeah. Bow! Shots! To all the rats! Informants, snitches, spies, community proxy stalking, sellouts. It's not a game. It's not. Basically, they pay off everybody in your community, and uh, they done gave them all brand new cars. They pay off everybody in the community. Oh, we got the dog walker. They buy him cars. They give them, now you know she them. want her gift card. They she out here for cars. that gift card money. They give them brand new cars. They help them pay their rent mortgage. That's a dog walker. And then turn. Word shout outs to Gang Stalking Simulation. Yeah, do the work of the wicked. Rob, kill, destroy. So if you done. If you were so called T.I. and you had a car wreck out of nowhere, you know why. If you get property damage out of nowhere, you know why. As soon as you walk out your house, you see other people walking out their house, you know why. Mother, father, grandmama. Cousin, homeboy, homegirl. Yeah, that's right. Everybody's gonna sell you they out. All bit the bait. Yeah, they that's all a bit fact. The that's a fact. Cause see, these dudes is professionals, so they use deep fake videos. They use deep fake pictures. Yo, we in the new world. Community proxy stalking. And it's Family a lot. Community proxy stalking. Criminal stalking. Crimes against humanity. It's a lot of money involved. So now, like I told you, we got some cars that parked up. That was just the U.S. map. So far, what we got. We got a you we got a truck. So far we got a nice look. We just paying it listen. We ain't calling nothing nothing. Put it on the trolley roller. We just paying attention to what we see. His house. Then open up. We just paying attention to what we see. So we done seen the, you know, a nice truck done came by, you know. Those with that have eyes to see that know, you already know. Then we follow that up with a dog walker. Those that got eyes to see and they know, you already know. <laughs> Those that can only, now we got, uh-oh, now we got one coming, coming at 3 o'clock. I ain't paying no mind to them. I don't even look at them. But I bet you they probably got a target back at 3 o'clock. Hey, listen, you tell me what it is. 
I don't pay attention to him, but we see it's picking up, though. We see it's picking up. We see it's picking up. Are they doing anything weird? I don't know. Listen, it's just a day in the neighborhood. Just another day in the neighborhood. Just another day in the neighborhood. You know what I mean? Okay. Now understand this. We gonna I'm gonna refer to, to them as the GS crew. So we got the GS crew house. We got a couple GS crew houses. We got one over there with the red car. And we got a one over there so with the black car. And we got one over here so with the red car. And we got one right here so with the black car. And we got the guy who trespasses on my property. And takes my personal property and discarded garbage bags. Anything that's in my backyard, he'll go over, pick it up. Take it to his house and sort through the garbage. Looking for anything of interest. Paper. I guess. Who knows what he's looking for. What you looking for? Fucking boogers. Toilet paper. Fucking snot tissue. Fucking discarded old bills. Papers. Fucking dirt. Lint. Okay. Now, you see how the vehicles move. Like, y'all, y'all judge the action. See, I don't even pay them no mind. Just another day in the neighborhood. Just another day in the neighborhood. Yo, this is called community proxy stalking. Straight gangster. Those that got the eyes to see. Now... I got family that's associated with the church. Now understand that he's one of the ones that got this got me involved in this uh this terrible program. Now it's been going on for years, but not only now I realize and start connecting the dots. Now he's a pastor of a church. Oh wait, we're gonna leave that unnamed. But here what I went down. Or maybe I'm wrong. You tell me. So I'm a so-called empath, so-called. I call myself a so-called because you ask me, I'm a dummy. So if you tell me I'm anything or somebody explains my character traits and they be like, you this type of person, I be like, all right. It may ring a bell, but I still, at the end of the day, I say I'm a dummy because I made all the wrong moves every time, every time, every time. The only thing that gets me by is that I don't give up, but, man. So, listen, I called them up, and I was like, yo, something's wrong, man. Everybody in my neighborhood is giving me extra attention, and it don't make no sense. And a lot of attention, it looks kind of mean and malicious. So, boom. It's like what you want to talk about, man. I said, yo, every time I go to the store... Every time I do this, every time I do that, every time I this, that, and the third, shoot. Everywhere I go, they go. So I'm like, it's too much of a coincidence that everywhere I go, they go. So I'm like, "Eh." it's so very peculiar and so concerning and so alarming because it feels like somebody is violating my human rights and my civil rights and my God-given mother earthly rights and my God-given fatherly rights. And you know, all rights exclusively reserved. Allegedly, this is an alleged story that What the fuck? Yeah. Allegedly. 
This is a story. This is all for entertainment purposes, YouTube. Allegedly. So I say, yo, something is going on. Something is very concerning me. So um, everywhere I go, bum, 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 nasty looks, bum, 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 crazy energy, bum, 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 driving their cars close to the kid, bum, 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 looking like they hate me, bum, 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 like they want to take a head off, bum, bum, bum. I said, yo. They trying to, it seems like they might be engaging in criminal stalking. Ain't that a crime if you keep going somewhere? And it seems like people is coordinating and organizing and synchronizing. You know, it seems like it's criminal organized harassment. That's a felony, isn't it? If it's happening. Allegedly, this is all for entertainment purposes. He says, "What well, man? Ain't nobody following you, man." Bam, 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 bam. You know, he's. It was more being said, but for now we gonna leave it at bam, bam, bam. And then, but this was the this was the tell all because I'm trying to figure it out where angle is coming from. So that's why I put an extra sense of urgency. I'm like, yo. I'm in a grave situation. So, you know, if you tell your family grave situation, whew, nigga, that's urgent times one million. All right, let's not even, not, anyway, he said, did they touch you? They didn't touch you, did they? Ding, 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 ding. We have a winner. Rat. Ding, 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 ding. We got a winner. And Pharma. Boom, boom, damn. Ding, 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 ding. I said to myself, oh, shucks. He said, did he say that? Yes, he did. He said, what? What you worried about people looking at you for, man? Ray, 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 Ray. Did they touch you? They didn't touch you, did they? If they ain't touch you, don't worry about it. Bow! Gunshots. I just came across the information when I was looking up this weird phenomenal type of stuff that was happening. They says, yo, this is a no touch, no talk. This is a no touch torture program. It's a white glove, no touch torture program. Like a white glove ritual. It's like a, it's a ritual going down. A real talk is supposed to be a slow kill. They're going to do everything to kill you. Financially, without putting their hands on you. Emotionally, without them putting their hands on you. Socially, they're going to do a smear campaign, lie about you throughout the, the community. And you know the main things they're going to use to lie about you that most people is going to turn against you about is they're going to try to say you're into either... They're going to try to say that you're a pedophile, allegedly, all for entertainment purposes, all rights reserves exclusively. I reserve my all my rights, all my inalienable and unalienable rights, exclusively all rights reserved and proper persona, sujuris, special appearance. Affidavit of fact. Allegedly. For entertainment purposes. We saying these things because we just talking about it. So boom. 
Yo, let me tell you how this thing is wicked. Your mother, your father, they going to pay them off and turn them against you. They got defake videos, defake pictures. They doctor up pictures. They doctor videos, and they go out through the whole community and your family like 007 agents. And then your family and your friends and the people in the community get bamboozled because the people thinking like these are some real federal agents. But really, they not federal agents. They part of certain cults, certain covens, circus secret society groups. In the neighborhoods. So now, little do I know. Yo, these people been following me for years, sabotaging me for years. I don't know. I ain't know. Allegedly. Mmm. Witchcraft? Mmm. Anything's possible. Allegedly. Juju? Oh, hmm. Anything's a possible. Allegedly. Witchcraft. Voodoo. Hoodoo. Santa Teria, allegedly, hmm, possible, witches, warlocks, are they around me? Possibly, how long they been around me? Who knows? I just found out about witches and warlocks. It ain't even been a year now. Spiritual warfare, I ain't know nothing about it, man. It's been less than a year now. I know. Casting spells, curses. Hexes, oh, blood magic, boom, I ain't know that, I heard, but I didn't know how real it was, rituals, initiations, people trying to move up in society, they gotta fucking turn their back on somebody that they love, boom, you think this is just in you think this is just in the movies? You think this is just in Hollywood? You think this is just in the music industry? Bro, no. Insurance scams. They not playing no games. What insurance scams for crashing up cars? That's old school. And they going to crash up your life. They going to make it. Allegedly. Yo. They be behind the scenes lurking. Listen. Them dun to dun niggas. Ooh-wee. You know, you got a lot of loser man them in the world. They never accomplish nothing in life. And next thing you know, they see they starting to get older, man. You get what I'm saying? And boom! You know, and especially even be of your own parents. You understand? It can happen. Sometimes the elders, they get jealous, they get bitter, they get envious. You understand what I'm saying? So real talk, your parents tell you some shit like, yo, I bought you in this world, I can take you out. Yo. That's some wicked shit to say. But understand this, what if they tell you? Allegedly, what if that's how they really feel? So you already know if they're telling you they can take you out, anything under taking you out is all fair and game. So robbing you, cheating from you, stealing from you, identity theft, yes. A lot of times when it comes to identity theft, it's the people that's closest to you. Black magic, witchcraft, it's the person that's closest to you. You know why? Because only the people that's closest to you that can cast spells. You understand? Cast a spell sometimes is just as simple as the words that you use and how you use it and the word order that you use it and your intentions. You understand what I'm saying? And only the people that's close to you can be close enough to know your, to have the intentions. You know what I'm saying? Boom! Hit you with that evil eye. You think that shit is not real? Yo, listen, man. Do not believe these people when they tell you, oh, if you don't believe in this and that, allegedly, for entertainment purposes only, all rights reserves exclusively. <laughs> Listen! Just because they tell you, yo, if you don't believe in that stuff, it can't happen. No! 
you got some bitter witches and people that have been practicing the occult on the dark side. And they've been some broke, busted, and bitter people since, since they first became a baby mother, some of them. For entertainment purposes only. And they start lo Listen! We got a lot of bitter mothers out here that their baby fathers hurt them in such a way. It crushed them. Next thing you know, they started to let me try women. Boom, and then they were women. Crush them. But then they wound up forgetting about the women because they wasn't supposed to go to the women if it wasn't for the men. So now they just angry and better, man. And then they, you know, they can't find a new man. And then they start to get into religion. But boom, you know, they just keep wanting your money. And you ain't, you ain't got no money. And you keep... You know, doing X, Y, and Z, and then you see these people over here, they getting money. You like, yo, what? Shit, I need money. I got one life to live. Next thing you know, you associate yourself with people that's associating yourself with darkness. You think all money is good money because you see them looking like they living a lavish motherfucking life. Motherfucking car, jewels, money, women, houses, jewelry. Gadgets, phones, laptops, iPad, earpieces, traveling, birds, animals, exotic foods, eating out, hotels, motels, swimming pools, Airbnbs. Condos, the good life. -wee! You see, motherfuckers eat motherfucking strawberries with motherfucking whipped cream. You see them eating it with they. You see them eating fucking strawberries with whipped cream and some honey on that shit with some sprinkled cinnamon. You see them eating that shit with no hands. Because they getting served the fucking strawberries by a server. You know what I'm saying? A nice little PYT honey ting. Exotica. Soft. Dogla. Curly hair. Browning. Say, yo, I want that in my life. Or if you're a woman, you saying, man, I need that in the male size. Boom! But you don't know, man, they sacrifice him. Allegedly, when they say they're making sacrifices, man, <laughs> ah, you think it's sacrifice of working hard. No! Mine not doing insurance scams, life insurance scams. Somebody here today, gone tomorrow. Family upon the TV. Ah, ah, I can't believe. The next day, they pulling up in a big body, Bentley like. I got it made. You like what the fuck? Niggas is pulling up Big Daddy motherfucking Kane style with the motherfucking Cameron fucking pink and purple two tone. Maserati with the motherfucking Ferrari kit. With the Bentley wheels. I don't know, nigga, that's motherfucking possible. Nigga like me, I don't even, still don't even drive. Never had a vehicle in my motherfucking life. 100! But you get the motherfucking, ooh, drift. Yeah! When it come to drifting, you're like, yo... Living a life. 
But you don't even know how many lives have to be taken in order for them to live that life. Oh, wait! It's not a game out here. My mother, my father, my sister, my grandmother, my auntie, my uncle, my cousin, day friends, day friends, mama side, father side, oh my god. Yo! It had to be going on for a long motherfucking time. I ain't got one mother family member. Allegedly. That rock with me at all. That care about me at all. <laughs> Yo. Man, check this out, man. Straight gangster. Man, I was down south with my motherfucking family, man, and I screwed up big time. Long story, short story, right? I messed up big time. I seen one of my little nieces. I mean, no, my one of my little baby family members smack shit out of my motherfucking uncle. Sure, God. Damn. Because you just heard the splat. Like niggas was trying to kill a fly on a brand new leather motherfucking couch. You just heard. I said, oh, shit. I started laughing like that. <laughs> but that nigga looked up like, oh, shit. You just played me like I ain't shit. You don't remember I'm your uncle? He was in shock not knowing. So then I felt embarrassed for him. And you know, my dumb butt, I'm never around family. And then I really messed up too. I ain't gonna blame no family. I was supposed to do what I did. I tied my little cousin on the leg with a ruler or some sh Yeah, I think it was a ruler. Was it a ruler? Yeah, I tapped on the leg with a ruler, but not malicious. Remember, I ain't no malicious nigga, man. At all, at all, at all, at all, at all, at all, at all. Ever, you know what I'm saying? I always trying to buy kids shit, though. Fuck when I'm around them, which is not often. But, um, word, it's not often. Matter of fact, when I'm talking about more trying to buy kids shit, I'm never even around kids to buy them shit. And when I am around kids... Is when I actually be around my family. Ah, get that. Long story short, though, I tap on her leg. She start crying. Oh, shit, I fucked up. But first of all, I had no business hitting on, on her fucking leg trying to reprimand her for slapping or doing fucking anything. And I'm a fucking guest in the motherfucking towns. Niggas ain't seen me for years, so I'm supposed to mind my motherfucking business and just watch that shit in amazement like... Oh, shit, that's how you do it down here? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And if anything, you know what I'm saying? I'm supposed to laugh. Or laugh in, I'm supposed to laugh inside and just, you know what I'm saying? My my business, straight gangster. The fuck? That's one thing. <laughs> Yo, and I messed up big time. And I wasn't supposed to, you know what I'm saying? Trying to call myself, give her a little tap. You know what I'm saying? To, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you're doing wrong. No. But long story short, though, all right, now I'm back. Now, she cried from that. Not that because it hurt, but just because somebody telling her she's doing something wrong. But boom, she still cried, and I did still tap on her legs. So boom, my father came, which is my cuz. I said, yo, cuz, uh, I, I don't know exactly how I articulate it, but I basically was like, yo, you know what I'm saying? The little cuz or my daughter. I don't think I said your daughter because that sounds weird. But basically, I was like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Your daughter kind of smacked uncle. And when she smacked uncle, I hit on her legs and she started crying. But 
I just wanted to bring it to your attention like I wasn't trying to boop, boop. And then he lifted up his head and he started looking up in the skies. You know I'm from the motherfucking streets. So boom. I already know my intuition. With this nigga's like that. And I know he been through some shit too. Respectfully. So I really wasn't even. So I'm like damn I done fucked up. And this is my motherfucking family. How the fuck I find myself in this type of stupid ass situation where. I love all these fucking people and do anything for these fucking people. So, I find myself in a situation where the fucking people I love the most in the world do anything for is gonna look at me like public enemy number fucking one. Yo, what the fuck? Twilight Zone. I'm in that fuck. But boom. But now I'm waiting for Uncle to be like, hey, yo, listen, no, he didn't mean it. They go like that. She smacked the shit out of me and boom. Because Uncle C, he getting upset. Uncle know what type of time he on. And then I forgot he said something to me too. Like, yo, why did you... I go make nothing up. But he said something like, yo, but why do you do... Oh, you you shouldn't be doing that. And the, you know what I mean? I mean, straight gangster like a gangster's supposed to do. You get what I'm saying? Mind you, family or not. And I'm waiting for uncle to interject because he's both our uncle. So, your uncle, the fuck? Nigga, I'm first nephew, nigga. You know I'm a... You ain't gonna be like... Yo, listen. It, listen, she smacked the hell out of me. And she, and he was just trying to reprimand her. But he didn't mean nothing by it. No, he didn't mean nothing by it. She smacked the shit out of me. Or, oh, listen. I'm... Listen. <laughs> Man, he ain't say nothing. So I'm like, yo. I do my Spider-Man senses. I'm like, yo. Uncle ain't going to get involved and say nothing right here. So you will wait for this shit to fucking escalate. To maybe to the point where this nigga might want to get physical and violent with me, his cousin. Over some shit that you know was an innocent fucking mistake and not malicious. And you know I'm a... Good nigga. I'm a the fuck? I'm your nephew, nigga. What the fuck? Your mother's my grandmother, nigga. We all got the same grandmother, nigga. His mother's my aunt, nigga. You I ain't a nigga from the streets, nigga. I said, oh shit. I brought that shit up to uncle a couple times after that. Like, I'm like, yo, uncle, you ain't going to say nothing. You was going to speak up. You didn't see that shit about to get out of control. Like, why wouldn't you say something to interject? That don't make no sense. Yo, you, wait, what is, this ain't going to make nothing. I don't even feel like trying to even recall what he said. But he started, I was like, wow. Boom. And listen, people down, then next to you know, you see, the one car lights on. I'm down south now from new white car lights, double lights, LED lights. I didn't even realize when I got down there from the first time, it was a brand new red fucking truck down there in the fucking yard. You know what I'm saying? They kept gaslighting me for two months. You know what I'm saying? Until I finally realized, like, yo, what the, what the, what? No, because I was trying to figure it out. I left up here, I seen the spookiness. Then I go down there, spookiness follow me. So now I see it's deep. So now I'm trying to figure it out now before I get up. Because I know it's deeper than rap. Because the same thing happening up there, happening down there. And family spooky. You know what I'm saying? For my whole life, my grandma, my moms don't get along, and they supposed to be estranged, and I call myself trying to get them to talk to each other. Now, next to you know, everybody's looking at me like I'm a fucking enemy, like I'm doing something wrong, and I hear my grandmother on the phone, like, but my mom, like, hey, girl! Now, just a week ago, my mom's, I was on the phone, and I was like, hey, mom, my grandma will talk to you, and grandma was like, hey, let me talk to you, and then my mom would get on the phone, then a week later, all of a sudden, my grandmother and my mother's talking, and they on some, hey, girl, 
I said, oh shit, this shit is deeper than motherfucking rap. This shit is deeper than 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 rap. And then my mom's just like, I'm not getting kicked out of my... Because I was like, yo, I'm about to come back to New York just letting you know. Well, you can't come to my house. You can't come to my house. Don't come to my house. You can't live with me. I'm like, damn, I didn't say I want to live with y'all. Just like, why do you can't live with me? And, and, and I'm not getting kicked out of my apartment because of you. And, and I'm like, mom, what are you talking about? Kicked out of your apartment for me? For what? Will you get the hell? So I'm like, okay, this shit's deeper than motherfucking rap. Yeah, secret societies.